Um, but yeah, I get my, uh, I, I get a, you know how you, you, you've been driving your car for maybe about 15, 20,000 miles. And, and when you hit the accelerator, she don't respond like she's supposed to. Then you take it into the shop and you, you get a tune up, you get new plugs and oil change and all of that. And then when you take her out of there, she running like she was before. That's all this is on February 7th, you guys. It's just my, uh, it's my personal uh, tune up. Uh, and I scheduled it on the 7th, on the 7th, uh, because I wanted this tune up prior to my 59th soul return, which is two days later on the 9th. <clears throat> now, talking about this uh, website, uh, the, the, the uh, uh, software and uh, project and the website upgrades that I've been uh, talking to you guys about for about six months. Uh, you guys will be pleased to know that on February 7th, after I come back from my morning procedure and rest a little bit in that, at that afternoon, I am launching uh, my website it's the it I might as well say it's a new website because everything pretty much is new on it the new website is on the sevens.com I have uh, changed uh, narrowed my focus uh, down to to what it is that I truly, truly came here to do. Uh, and and on the sevens.com captures the full essence of what it is I came to do. So um, uh, starting on February 7th, uh, you guys will be able to go find me at on the sevens.com. When you go there, you will be able to get a free numbers only profile. I built that one for, for y'all that's on my calls. And then I also have a full mastered self assessment and evaluation uh, that We'll have all your numbers and all of the interpretations for every one of your numbers. Um, and it has all of my podcasts and, and some other things. I also want to let you guys know that uh, I am consolidating um, what it is that I am going to be focusing in on. I will focus in on the Master Self Numerology, Chakra Health and Alignment, and uh, personal development, self-mastery, things of that nature. I will be forwarding all, uh, anybody calls me or hits me up for uh, astrology readings, I'm going to forward it to somebody in my network. I, I'm not going to do any astrological readings for anybody anymore. I'm not going to, I will still provide you reports. If you want to pay for some reports, that's cool. Uh, but as far as, as spending the time that I have to spend to get into your chart and to get into your cards like that, uh, to do a personal reading, <clears throat> unless uh, uh, you want to pay the fee that I'm going to charge, I, which I don't think any, anybody will, I'm not going to be doing uh, those personal type of readings. Uh, for folks numerology you can always get the numerology from me and those that i have read for before you guys are grandfathered in so if i've read for you before you can still get a reading from me these are just on a go forward basis i'm not gonna be taking on any new personal readings just just for the sake of a reading if you want a full package yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about a full package. And when, I, when you guys get to my uh, website on the 7th, you'll see uh, uh, my products and services and, and, and what, what we're going to be having going on. Uh, it's time. Uh, I, I just come out of a seven personal year. Um, 
and everything that you already know about the number seven, double that because I am a seven. So um, I am in an eight year from January 1st to December 31st. And I am taking full advantage of the eight. So we are going to, you guys are going to see that we're going to be changing up some things. We're going to change up the format of the class. Uh, starting on Thursday, the format on the class will be different than what you guys have been through before. It's just really time to, to separate myself from everybody who was playing with this shit. I'm serious about what I'm doing. If you if you serious about doing the work, I'm here. If you serious about your personal development, I'm here. If you're serious about your uh, journey uh, of self discovery and self knowledge, I'm here. If you want to repeat the same cycles because you don't want to do the inner work, then yeah, you can find somebody else to waste your time with. 2022, man, um, it is a, a six. Uh, uh, also, um, uh, I am uh, going to branch out into, I'm going to start providing uh, seven soul types. Uh, we have, there are seven soul types according to birth dates and Soon as I get done uh, with um, with my master self numerology, that's the next project. The next writing project will be the uh, seven soul types. Uh, I'm going to get into the uh, uh, seven planet, seven daily planetary periods. Uh, that'll be those two projects will go together, uh, and I am going into the app development business. So I am going to be the test case and how all of this stuff goes for me, then I'm going to duplicate this for every spiritual preneur that would like to get out of the matrix and start happening to life instead of having life happen to you. Any comments? Any any? Anybody got any comments? So 2022, I'm going to be moving and shaking. Um, uh, I'm still going to uh, manifest in silence. And uh, uh, I'm going to allow the fruit that comes off of my tree to be the evidence of what's really going on with me. So. Uh, I thank everybody for being here. I thank everybody for coming around today. Uh, today, uh, I want to talk about uh, 2022. Um, this is uh, the On the Sevens uh, 2022 forecast. <clears throat> 2022 is a universal six year. So, uh, reason why I say it like that, because each one of us on this call, we have a different personal year vibration. Um, uh, the, the six is just the two zero two two added up. The way you figure your personal birth year, you take the month you were born and the day you were born, you add those two up reduce them down, and then you add the six, the two zero two two of this year to that number. That gives you your personal year vibration. So you're gonna hear me say, once I get into each month, along with your personal year vibration, this month is thus and such. Okay, so it's gonna be important um, uh, that you know how to figure out your personal month, your personal year, then you can figure out what your personal month is during this month. And then I'll show, I, I could talk, I will talk to us uh, about how to, to blend this month. In fact, I will do it when I get to January uh, right here and I'll do it with my own uh, chart so you guys can see what I mean. But six, 
uh, universally, uh, 2022 is a six year. That means duty, service, and honor to your vocation or your job or your business, um, your family, friends, and loved ones. And because there are three twos that add up to the six, big karma is coming <coughs> our way, individually and collectively. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot to tell y'all. <coughs> After all that I already been through, <coughs> working on the project, doing everything that I was doing, uh, um, um, I, uh, I believe I got the Omicron uh, about 15 days ago. Um, started off, you know, uh, congestion, uh, nasal congestion, sore throat. That was for a couple of days. I isolated myself for five days. After that, you know, when I went upstairs, had a mask on. Um, it's a bad cold, y'all. No, nothing to get all bent out of shape. It, it, it's third time I've had it. Third time. Unvaccinated. Unboosted. It's a bad cold. That's it. That's 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 all I'm gonna say about it. I'm grateful that today I'm I'm about at I'm between 88 and 97, which is right where I want to be. Um the the worst of the cough is over. So, you know, it's all good. It's all good. It didn't stop me from, from doing anything. I had one day where I just laid around where I didn't really want to do anything, but that was a personal choice. It wasn't because I was feeling really bad. Uh, that was just a personal choice. But yes, universally, 2022 is a six year, uh, all things six, everything you already know about the six. Think about it, duty, service, honor to your vocation, to your job, to, to your family, friends, your loved ones, big karma coming your way individually and collectively as a society. I'll get into that as we get through the months. Um, um, and, and, you know, uh, six uh, deals with domination and manipulation. Either the six is, is somebody's attempting to dominate and manipulate a six or they're the ones doing it. Um, so think about those themes as we go through uh, the months. Uh, also astrologically, because this is very important, um, especially for all of us that deal with affirmations and manifestation. Uh, there is a strong Jupiter influence that will be present all year long. And there is an extremely powerful Jupiter manifestation energy swirling all year long, especially between April 12th. I might want to write this down between April 12th and April 30th. It'll be swirling all year, but between April 12th, 2021, and April 30th, 2021, power, extremely powerful manifestation energy. Get yourself clear by the spring equinox, by the uh, vernal new year. Get yourself clear about a few things that you want to manifest, write them down, get clear about it, get a plan together. And between the 12th and the 30th of April, affirm your ass off and get busy towards manifesting it. Yes, uh, Victorious. Um, is that when, Mer uh, I'm sorry, Jupiter moves into Aries? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yep, and then it has real favorable aspects with, with Venus uh, uh, and Pluto. Real favorable. Yeah, this, this, ain't, this don't happen like this, but every 12 to 13 years. So take advantage of it, whatever. And if you have something that is almost ready to go, dive into it like I'm diving into myself. Dive into it right now and launch it between the 12th and the 30th of April 
of 2022 and you will have maximum and powerful manifestation energy it will come back to you so much yeah it'll it'll even shock you so uh, uh that that's a real key period for all of us this year april 12th through april 30th of 2022 all right january is a universal seven months since uh uh 2022 is a six year to get the month you add the number of the month and january is the first month so it's a one so six plus one equals seven so universally january is a seven month so along with your personal year vibration January will be a month of solitude, spirituality, research, and the seeking of knowledge. This is the month to get yourself very clear on the what and the whys of your manifesting goals, desires, and active pursuits and get ready to break out of your hibernation with confidence. Now, <clears throat> I am in an eight year. So January for me is a nine month. Let me explain how that worked. Eight year plus one, January nine month. Uh, uh, First day of the year, January 1st, was a 10-1, Freedom Fresh Start. And I laid down in a meditative position most of the day and mapped out everything that, I, that is getting ready to manifest in my reality this year. And I saw it play like a, just like a, a, a movie on a television. It, it played just scene after scene after scene. That's why I'm super confident uh, about uh, what it is that, uh, that I'm endeavoring to do in launching this year. And, and that's why I, had to, I have to step away from, from some of the things that, that I was doing. And that's just natural as, as we evolve and as we expand and as we ascend, where we go is smaller than where we've been. So we have to narrow our focus. We have to narrow our focus. Uh, so January for me personally is a nine month with it being a universal seven, nine plus seven, 16, seven. So again, I'm a 16, seven. So this month is really going to be beneficial for me to get very clear about the what's and why's of my manifesting is the difference, not, not the things you desire. I'm talking about things that are manifesting already in your reality. You're, when I say manifesting goals, desires, and active pursuits, active pursuits, something you've been after, something that you just keep going, keep going, keep going, your desire, something that comes from the, from the depths of your soul. And then your goals, the things you see in your, in your third eye, the things that line up with you, with your third eye. All of this is, is, is easily accessible in, with breath work and meditation. So you want, to, you, you want to really appreciate your solitude, dive into your spirituality, whatever, uh, uh, spirituality is for you dive into it um, research seek out the knowledge and get clear on the what's and why's of your manifesting goals desires and active pursuits because you're coming out in february all of us are coming out regardless of your personal year vibration february is a universal eight month Eight. We already know about the eight. The eight is two interconnected curves that always uh, rotate and they never stop and they energize themselves. It, eight is a number of expansion of power and, 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 and of authority. 
So along with your personal year vibration, Jan uh, February will be a month of personal power, authority, organization, and strenuous action. Because the eight is, is going to push us into getting off of our asses and doing what we need to do. Even if, even if what you need to do is sitting down and typing, you're going to get off of your ass and sit down and type. Eight, eight is going, uh, February is going to push each of us out into strenuous action. You're going to feel that power. And then you mix, you mix what the universal month is with your personal month. That's what you do. February is the month to get busy with the business at hand and to expand your base of operations. Use your good business direction guidance because that's what comes during the eight. With the eight, eights have great business direction guidance. So in the eight months, guess what? You will have great business direction guidance. You use your good business direction guidance this month to make tremendous strides in your chosen vocation, job, or entrepreneurial endeavor. Any questions, any comments? February is gonna be the month that's gonna show all of us who is ready and who is bullshitting. Whoever is ready is gonna step up and step out and step to the front. Whoever bullshitting is gonna cower and hate and talk shit. That's just the way it is in 2022. Ain't nobody getting a pass and there's no punches going to be pulled. And that's collectively. That, that's, that's not an edict from me. That's collectively. People, you already see it. People already got attitudes. Can I say that? Four days in. Yes, yes, uh, Victorious. So this is going to come up when we do the Mercury um, review on Saturday. <laughs> yeah. But laughing because one of the things with mercury being retrograde in aquarius is that um it don't care about nobody's feelings mm -hmm. and we're we're already seeing that but yeah i just thought that i literally just typed that up in my notes <laughs> yeah absolutely absolutely uh so february uh, i'm i'm giving everybody uh uh 25 26 day advance notice get ready get ready be ready, be ready, push yourself. You got a project, you got a book, you got a, a course, you got a, 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 a product idea, you, you, whatever it is, push, push in January, push in this universal seven month where you can get quiet and get uh, some solitude and you can do the research and you can seek the knowledge and get ready for February when you can boom, bust out and get busy with the business at hand and expand the base of operation. <clears throat> March is a universal nine month. Along with your personal year vibration, March will be a month of personal and business endings, completions, and graduations. March will be a month of the vernal new year, the spring equinox. If, you want, if we want, you guys know my thoughts on what January 1st is. Right. January 1st is just an arbitrary date that was picked. It has no other significance other than it starts a new calendar year. Yes, I, Michelle. Yeah. So it's really funny that you say that because um, since I've learned about the true meaning of January and how it's associated with um, Janice and all of this and mm -hmm. all of that good stuff. One of the things I've noticed is that I never feel motivated to write down my New Year's goal. Like it just doesn't even feel natural because it's like it's winter time, but for some reason it just doesn't make sense. So I sat there. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, I jotted down things overall, which 
your same goals that I had from last year, the ones that I didn't complete. Absolutely. To say is that um, for me, the cycle of January 1st and it being a new year just doesn't feel natural. Yeah, it never, it never has to me. And, and the, you have, you, you have uh, the vernal new year, the spring equinox that is, is earth's new year and you could tell by how the planet reacts at the equinox spring equinox every year that that is the earth's new year and your personal new year is your birthday you would do a lot better writing your resolutions and affirmations for change on those two dates than you ever would on January 1st, mm -hmm. I'm just saying. You launch them on the spring equinox or on your birthday, you have a better, you have a better probability of one, completing them and two, making them a permanent part of your everyday life. Then if you start them on January 1st, you know, most people already done busted their resolution. Of course, they probably two days after it started. Yeah. Yeah, most most folks don't make it three damn days. Yeah, yeah. You have a better the, the spring equinox is the Earth's new year, and it's very good uh, starting energy, uh, natalizing energy on the spring equinox, and the best day is your birthday. That's your new year. Everybody got a personal new year. It's your birthday. So can can I, I'm I'm aware of this, but I would like you to clear this up for people mm -hmm. that are not. Mm -hmm. Does your personal numerical New Year start at the beginning of the year or on your birthday? On your birthday, um, you it 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 subtly starts. In, in the January, but like I said, January is a random date. It really doesn't kick in until your birthday. Like I still, I can feel the fog of the seven fighting with the freshness of the eight. You know, I come out of a seven year, I'm into eight. I am uh, uh, fortunate that I have a soul return that is coming uh, on the ninth of next month. So I, I get to, to get into my eight pretty fast. Um, folks that got birthdays, October, November, like December, December, you, you still in, you, you're taking, you natalized 2021's personal year. That that's your personal year. Yeah. Yeah. Your personal year, Truly, your your personal year number truly doesn't start till your birthday. Yeah, it's a little confusing, isn't it? Yeah, but it, yeah, I, I I could say uh, unequivocally, even though I feel a subtle shift, I know the shift that is coming on February 9th will be much stronger. Yeah, 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 absolutely. March is a universal nine. March will be the month of the vernal new year, the spring equinox, and is the time to prepare your storehouse for the incoming harvest. Um, March, like I said, March is, is when you get that equinox date and the equinox time and you want to natalize something that no matter what it is it can't miss that's the day to do it that's the date to do it that spring equinox um because the the earth is in the newness of regeneration and the earth is at its most optimistic at the spring equinox so you want to natalize and start something especially uh um i would say that 30 day period uh from the 21st uh march to 
Well, you can go all the way to the 30th this year, but, you know, to about the 21st of April every year. I, I would plan to, uh, to launch something around that time every year, every year. April is a universal 10-1 month. Along with your personal year vibration, April will be a month of new beginnings, renewed freedom, and a few fresh starts. <clears throat> this is the month to boldly start that new thing, to boldly embark upon a new destination, and to boldly embrace your renewed freedom. Um, uh, April is going to be a breakaway month. Um, oh, oh, I, I, I forgot to say March uh, will be um, uh, the cosmic end of the pandemic. I don't know. Uh, oh, I already know that the government is not going to allow it to end, but cosmically, uh, month of March, uh, the pandemic will be done. Um, April is, is yes, yes. Somebody had something? Okay. April is is the uh, month of new beginnings, renewed freedom, and a few fresh starts. Boldly start that new thing from the twelfth to the thirtieth. Boldly embark upon a new destination. From the 12th to the 30th, boldly embrace your new freedom. From the 12th to the 30th, boldly make a, make a beeline for the front of your chosen field. From the 12th to the 30th, boldly step out into the arena. From the 12th to the 30th, boldly send in that proposal. Boldly apply for that new job. Boldly start your own business. Boldly do it. It's a universal 10 1 month. Freedom and fresh starts all through the month. May is a universal 11 2 month. Along with your personal year vibration, May will be a month of spiritual sensitivity, relationship drama, and the gathering of facts. Um, May will be the month that will be calling all of us to attain and maintain balance in all of our personal versus in all of our personal consciousness. We have to get balance of our personal consciousness versus the collective versus the group consciousness and our own and our need for personal gain versus shared resources and society and looking out for for society that's what may is going to be about may is going to be that month where it's either you're going to have to find your balance between your personal consciousness and the consciousness of the collective and your need for personal gain versus shared resources me personally i already know what i'm going to do I'm, 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 I'm balanced. My personal consciousness and the collective. I'm, this is what I do. I, I teach. So I'm, I'm making sure that the collective consciousness is there. My personal gain, whatever I get personally, I share anyway. So I'm in the loop constantly. May, May of this year is going to be a month for all of us to have an opportunity to get that to attain and maintain that and get into that loop. June is a universal 12-3 month. So along with your personal year vibration, June will be a month of opportunities, imagination, creative inspiration, and vision. June is the month of summer and will bring a few opportunities to expand your reach, your respect, and your revenue. Three things. June will bring those opportunities. See why it's important to be ready in April and to get pushed in February. You see how this is building up and building up and building up all year. June is the month of summer. You know how we, you know how folks feel in the summer. 
and will bring few opportunities to expand your reach, expand your respect, and expand your revenue. <clears throat> July is a universal 13-4 month. So along with your personal year vibration, July will be a month of fate and karma. Let me say that again, fate and karma in action and of putting your plan into action. July will be a very serious month of work, work, and more work. See, after you expand your reach, respect, and revenue in uh, June, you got to put your plan into action and you got to work, work, work. Also in July, all through July, fated and karmic events will prevail all month long, personally, society-wise, collectively. July is the beginning of the shenanigans. I will get to that too, especially in the month of August. <laughs> yeah, July is the political slash governmental shenanigans yeah, they're going to get in the full swing uh, July and August. All month long, faded and karmic. We're we going to be in your personal lives. You're going to have stuff happen. You'll be like, whoa. And then collectively or from society, you're going to be like, whoa. Yeah, all the whole month of July is going to be like that. Uh, August is a personal, is a universal 14.5 month. So along with your personal year vibration, August will be a month of, of vivid imagination, hurried or rushed experiences and adventures. A uh, little chaos, a little chaotic. Uh, August will be the month to avoid all abusive situations, associations, and endeavors. And August also will be the month of possible I'm saying possible, governmental abuse of power and authority. So what I mean by that, July starts the governmental and political shenanigans. August will be the month mm -hmm. that they overstep their bounds and just get real jiggy with it. The month of August. All right. Can I say something about that? Absolutely. I, really interesting. Absolutely. Um, in the month of July, between uh, July and August, um, is a time where our solar sun lines up with the star series. Ooh. And usually around this time, these portals open. Yep. So uh, just making a connection, I just think that's really interesting. Absolutely. 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 It's going to be a a fun and furious time uh, uh, 4th of July through uh, end of September. It's gonna be it's gonna be a wild one guys. It's gonna be a wild one. <laughs> September is a universal 15 six month. So along with your personal year vibration, September will be a month of serious duty, service and honor to your vocation, your family, your friends and your loved ones. September also will be a month of a double dose of whatever your personal year vibration is. And what I mean by that is this. <clears throat> I showed you how to figure out your personal year. You take the day, month you're born, day you're born, add that up, reduce it down <clears throat> to a single digit. You add it to the 2022, two, two, which is a six. She'll give you your personal <laughs> year. September will be a double dose of that influence. So even though it's a universal 15-6 this year, that means it's a triple dose because 15-6 is that selfless service and that duty and honor, you know, that, that you just, you sacrifice and you give for your job and your vacation and your family and friends and loved ones. Whatever your personal year vibration is, the month of September will be a double dose of it, a double portion of it, a double 
helping of it. I am looking forward to September, man. Being that it's a universal 15-6, and I'm in an eight year, so I'm going to get a double dose of that eight. And I'm going to have the 15-6 energy because the month is a 15-6 universally to make sure I can handle that double dose of the eight because that's a lot of energy. Uh, eight oh. by itself is enough energy. So what you're saying is this year I'm in a three year. Yes. So I'm gonna have a double dose of that. that in September. Mm -hmm. And it, well, whatever side we choose to acknowledge, but yeah. Yes. That, I'm gonna see the creative side of it. Absolutely, and the opportunistic side of it, and 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 the the fortunate side of it. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. So prepare yourselves for September, find out uh, what your personal year is and mark your calendar, circle your calendar, highlight your calendar, go into your online calendar and put a, put a bunch of uh, whatever it is that'll let you know that you get a double dose of whatever your yearly vibration is for the month of September. Can I ask another question? Mm-hmm. How does your personal month play into that? Um, because it's a because September is the ninth month, so whatever your year vibration is going to be um, um, added to a nine, so it's going to be like say I'm in an eight year. Eight into nine is 17. So I'm gonna have a 17, eight September. You're in a, are you in a straight three or a 12, three? A 12, three. You're in a 12, three year. So September, you'll be in a 21, three. It'll just flip. Oh. You have a 21, three month. See, there are no such things as dumb questions. Yeah. Okay. It'll flip. It'll flip. Mm, yeah. That's interesting. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so the two will be in the front of the one in September. So you'll you'll get, and then I'll have the one and seven of the seventeen eight. You know, military precision. I'll be I'll be firing on all cylinders by September. Yeah, I'll be a well oiled machine come September. It'll be, you know, process in, brrr, process out. You know what I mean? That's the military eight. I'll have that military eight. You have a twenty. <coughs> 21 3 balanced leadership. Yeah. Okay. October is a universal 16 7 month. So, along with your personal year vibration, October will be a month of mystical happenings silence and payment in full for all shenanigans 167 when i do some some horse shit my rebuke is swift and i got to pay in full i don't get to i don't get to apologize you know on the installment plan i got to just pour all the shit out at once i got to pay in full when i do a transgression i have to pay in full 167 <coughs> October, 16, seven month. So for everybody who, who <coughs> falls into the July and August political shenanigans and other shenanigans, come October, the bill come due. Got to, and you have to pay it in full. Eh? You can't carry this bill into the next year. <clears throat> also, just as September will be a month of a double dose of your personal year vibration, October will be a month that serves as a preview of your 2023 personal year vibration. You said serves as a preview for what? Preview of your next year's vibration. 2023. Okay. 2023, yeah. Okay. Also in October, uh, uh, watch for 
pre-election shenanigans to go into overdrive. This is really helping me um, astrologically because I've looked at what's to come for the year. Mm -hmm. And um, this is going to help me go back when I look at my notes and put other things in perspective. Absolutely. This is awesome. Absolutely. Okay. No, November is a universal 17-8 month. So along with your personal year vibration, November will be a month of marching towards manifesting your personal goals, desires, and active pursuits with military precision. November will be a month of aggressive personal and vocational expansion and aggressive spiritual awakenings and ascensions. That's November of this year. And then <clears throat> finally, uh, December. December is a universal 189 month. Um, I am grateful that that the end of the calendar year universally is ending on a nine. Um, along with your personal year vibration, December will be a month of corporate compromise, control, dynamic endings, and a few personal completions and graduations. Um, December will be a month of a controlled harvest as we head into the calendar flipping. December will be a month of future planning and of several celebrations. That is our 20. 22 on the sevens mastered self numerology forecast anybody got any comments anything they want to say um i just want to add something just to throw that out there absolutely um in addition to everything you're talking about is that we have a well, let me say we the united states is having its pluto return oh so, I'm glad you said that. Go ahead and finish, but remind me to talk about her. Yeah, so I just wanted to point that out because um, this is all starting to line up with your reading yeah. and how things are expecting to play out over the course of the year. Absolutely. So we're still having some pretty hard aspects between Mars and Saturn right now. Yep. And then we have that Uranus-Pluto return, which is... Yep it's going to change the way corporations and our government do things absolutely in a major way and in, in a huge in a huge way i'm glad you mentioned that because i i didn't uh 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 touch on this but 2022 uh uh america america y'all you know, <laughs> know i don't give america the a because <laughs> because she a bad hoe but America, uh her her fate and karma is coming up and gonna get in her cheeks this in year in a big way america's karma is coming up in her cheeks this year bigly like uh, the orange man used to say bigly yeah america's karma is getting up in their ass bigly this year uh um and and what is happening that is going to come to full culmination on March 7th, 2023 is a new way of living and being America. The America that all of us on this call grew up with is done. Done. And by March, 7th 2023 the new america will start to emerge a new america yep yep I'm not gonna say it's gonna be ideal uh for all folks who have felt oppressed it's gonna be more equitable and a little bit fairer i'll just say that 
So in other words, the playing ground is going to be somewhat more leveled. Somewhat more leveled, yes. Yeah. Can can I point out one other thing for Absolutely. other astrologers that may listen to this Absolutely. or other people that may listen to this? Um, Pluto takes 248 years to complete one transit. Yep. So in our in our little lifetimes, we'll never see a Pluto return. Never. A sun return every year. We get a moon return every month, a Mercury return every 88 days. But in our lifetimes, we'll never see Pluto return to where it was when we were born. So for this to be transpiring, this is like, this is an exciting time to be alive. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. freaking lutely And you're already seeing, like with all the rebellions, um, with Uranus and Taurus, you're already seeing structures collapse. With Saturn and Aquarius, you're starting to see the breakdown of America already. Absolutely. And you're starting to see that people are frustrated. And again, with all this Aquarian energy, it is the collective conscious. You're going to see people come together in a way that we've never seen it before. Absolutely. And unfortunately, Absolutely. it may be against the structures or the powers that be. Well, there's definitely going to be uh, some disgruntled folks that are going to uh, let their voices and some other things be heard and felt uh, um, towards the um, uh, United States of America. Uh, and, are they in the United States? Huh? In the United States? No, 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 no. They, oh, okay. America's Jack of, Jack of Diamonds. Oh. Yeah, America's Jack of Diamonds. A lot of sense. Yeah, they twist up the finances all the time. Like capitalism is in full force. Absolutely. Absolutely. That makes sense. Absolutely. So uh, um, just be, um, be mindful of, of that. Um, again, I want to let you guys know that uh, on February 7th, 2022, I will be uh, officially launching and opening up my new website on the sevens.com. Uh, there you will find on the sevens mastered self Academy. You will find uh, on the sevens with Pi Frisbee Metatron. Uh, we will be focusing in on my own theory of numerology, my master self numerology, chakra health and alignment, personal development. Um, we're still going to do our auspicious dating and, and dating and all of that. And, and if I have done a reading for you before December 31st, 2021, you have been grandfathered in and you could still get the personal service that I've given to you. Anybody that comes now, there will be new prices and new packaging and new requirements. So um, I'm really excited about all of that. Anybody got anything they'd like to add? Shonda, good to see you. Glad you are here. How, what's your schedule like tomorrow? If you're talking, unmute yourself. All right, all right. Floor is open. Anybody got anything they'd like to add, like to say? Any questions, any comments? Oh, one last thing. Hey, Shonda. Hi, let me pull over. I'm driving. I'm gonna pull over right now. It's okay, it's so. okay. Just. Just let me know what's your schedule like tomorrow. I know we needed to uh, 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 touch base again. Let me pull over because it's really crowded here in Atlanta and I these know. folks do not know how to drive. So let me just pull over. Okay. Okay. How are you? I'm very well. Very well. Thank you much uh, for asking. Oh, you can't see me. So let me put back on my picture screen. Uh, but you can still hear me, right? Yes, yes, we can hear you. Okay. Yeah, um, I caught it a little late. It's okay. But I, uh, mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I'm doing a lot better. I know you are. <laughs> but I want to talk to you about that yeah. off air. <laughs> yeah, what's your, what, what's your schedule like tomorrow? Oh, um, the earlier the better for me. 
Okay, so how about um, 11 o'clock your time? That's perfect. All righty, as soon as I get off of this call, I'll send you a Zoom link. Okay, thank right. you. You're welcome. Be safe right. out there. Yes. All right. All right, anybody else? Anybody got any, any final comments, anything they'd like to say or add? Uh, just one last thing. I can do the retrograde reading on Thursday. For some reason, I was thinking today was Thursday. That's, <laughs> that's Saturday. <laughs> okay, that'll work. That'll work. All right. And I appreciate you for that. No, I appreciate you giving me the opportunity. I'm, I'm sorry I couldn't do it today. It was just, I was in the not middle that of word, the Not that word, you're not. Huh? Not that word, you're not. Okay. Ain't, not, ain't nothing sorry about you. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Absolutely. We don't apologize. We we do what we do when we do it. You know, I'm a bit of a perfectionist and I just like stuff. Absolutely. Right. I know. I know. I know. Appreciate you. Anybody else? Final comments. Jolene, I see you getting ready to get on out that office, huh? <laughs> Glad you 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 logged in today and you you brought me into your office. I really appreciate it. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> my volume is real low, so I didn't put up my volume when I it's started, okay. but I can hear you a little bit. Okay. But thank you, everybody. It's nice seeing y'all. Nice seeing you thank too. You. All right. Hey, Carolyn. Hi, baby. How are you? I'm well, thank you. Good, good. good. Thank you. <laughs> hey, you know me. <laughs> you know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> go to work. <laughs> I'm not sure just yet. If I do, uh, it will be about nine or ten, maybe. Okay. Yeah. So other than that, everything is good. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Thank you for that. All right. All right. This has been On the Sevens with Pyphris B. Metatron. I am thankful and grateful for each one of you that was on here live on Zoom, live on Facebook, and or live on On the Sevens with Pyphris B. Metatron's internet radio station. We come here to awaken, ascend, and expand, and we look forward to unlocking the cosmic code in your name so that you can start happening to life instead of life happening to you. Keep coming back to On the Sevens with Pyphrus B. Metatron. I guarantee somewhere along the way, your soul, your mastered self awaits you. Love you guys. Not saying goodbye, just saying goodbye for now. See you guys Thursday. See you Thursday. All right, bye. Bye.